Hello everybody, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the name of your song in the iOS version of GarageBand, which is uh, usable on the iPhone and the iPad. So when you open up GarageBand, it's going to automatically load the last project you've been working on. To access the list of songs that uh, you have created, you are going to need to hit the downward facing arrow on the top left hand corner of the screen and then select my songs. Now it's going to load a screen where it shows all the songs um, that you've created and by default when you create a new project it's just going to name your song my song and then my song one, my song two and uh, it can be really confusing so it's really good to know how to give them a name. So all you do is you simply uh, click and hold your finger down on the project that you want to rename. So I'm going to click on the one that says my song and just, I'm just going to pop my finger on it and hold it down. And then it's going to give me this menu here. We can create a copy of that. We can um, duplicate, which is kind of the same thing. Uh, duplicate just does a copy and the paste all at once. We can move it to a different area. Um, we can delete it. You can move it from your iPhone to your, your Google Drive or your iCloud or whatever. Um, tags, info, we won't go through that now. What we want to do is just click the rename right down the bottom. And I'm going to just call this new um, beat. Let's just call this new beat one. And you can even put an emoji on there if you want. Um, <clears throat> and go crazy. And then when you're finished, you just hit done on the top right hand corner. And then there we go. Next time you open up uh, your garage band and go to my songs, you'll then be able to you know, have them more uh, in a neatly ordered fashion. And so you don't have to go through every single song and try and remember which one was which. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, stick around for lots more content coming up on GarageBand iOS.